So today I'm going to show you how to do a student submission through Blackboard. So this is my Blackboard course. You'll see that the course menu on the left is standard according to comms guidelines. Students will scroll down to submit assignments. Then they're actually going to go into whichever project they want to load. We'll just do the introduction. It's easy. I've already set the assignment up. So students have a couple of options here. They can browse their computer just by clicking here, and it will take them to their own computer files where they can actually pull in a document that they've done with Microsoft Word, etc. They can also do cloud storage. So if they're using their COM OneDrive, which I highly encourage, but you can see the different options they have. It will load right in for them, no problem. Or they can do a right submission and right click. You'll see that it's a standard MS Word toolbar. This option works fine. However, sometimes it will disappear or the, the work will disappear or if there's a glitch and for some reason the servers are running slow, your work might disappear. So I highly encourage students to type first in either Word or in their OneDrive, Dropbox, Google Drive, etc., and copy and paste over. Once they do that, they hit Submit. And you'll see that that's going to go right on through. Now I'm going to switch over. I'm going to do an exit preview and I'm going to go over and now we'll take a look at one from the instructor point of view and how it's graded. Okay, so I'm going to go over to the instructor side in Blackboard. And I'm going to scroll down to my grade center down here. And you're going to see those pop up. You can see all your students. Okay. And I'm just going to click on one. I'll just choose one. Okay. This is what it's going to look like when you load it through to grade as the instructor. Now, Mine are set to unlimited submissions. Once it's due, the due date hits, then I start grading. So a student might have 15 submissions in there and I'm always going to be able to take the last submission. I'm asking them to also upload their peer review or their tutor sheet showing that they did that. Okay. And you'll see, you'll see all the submissions right here on the side. It's going to look just like this. Now, I have a lot of options up here. I can see documents different ways. I can see it by the page. Okay. I can look at just the annotations. When I get ready to grade, I'm just going to click up here on the toolbar. I can draw on it. Okay, so let's say, for example, um, I wanted them to correct maybe the title. Okay, I can circle, I can write, I can do what if you want to erase. It's a very simple uh, process here. So, so I can actually mark on these just like I would if I had them in front of me in paper. I can put in text. Oh. So if I want to type in... Um, whatever I want to put in, I can do that. I can even put an image in if I've got something saved that I want to put in. Um, I can also, uh, let's see, what else can I do? Um, right here you've got standard comments. You can see that these are the ones that I'm using all the time. They're putting in wrong citations or they're using I in their academic essays, which I don't, we don't allow. Um, the citations are needed. So I don't have to go through and type these every single time. I can place the comment over. I can edit. I can delete. And you can see that I've actually, let me get rid of this. 
I've actually done some markings already on this essay. I wanted her to use the semicolon. I wanted her to put the citation there. Mm -hmm. So I can do all kinds of things with it. I don't have to have a paper uh, handout to grade. Now, when I go back over, I'm going to take us back to the grade book and I'm going to show you a couple of ways that we can see this. All right, so you'll see that when we actually see, let me see if I can find one that has several submissions in it. I might have cleared those out already. Uh, okay, so I'm seeing exactly the exclamation point lets me know that it's ready to grade. And again, I'm taking the last submission that goes in because they can upload as many times as they want. Now, if I go to view, I can exempt if I like, but I, if I go to view grade details, I can see all the attempts. I can see when these were loaded in. I know exactly which one is the last one. And obviously, this is the one that I graded. Okay. So I can ignore this attempt. And when I do that and I go back, it's going to clear out that little yellow marker there. Okay, so now you'll see that. Now each of mine are graded using the rubric. Let me just go back in and show you that rubric okay, so that you'll see how simple and easy this is. All right. Now on the side over here under your course tools, you do have rubrics. So you just go down here to your uh, rubrics right here and it will actually let you build a rubric. Okay. You can create your own or import one. You can see that I've already got these in. Once you put them in once, that's all there is to it. You don't have to do it again unless you want to adjust something. The course rolls right over. I copy the course over each semester. I'm going to take us back to that grade book and I want you to see how that looks when I grade that through the rubric. So they know exactly why they're getting that score. I'm just going to choose one. All right, so I've read through the essay. I've done my markings. Now I'm ready to score. You'll see that by opening up, you do have a box where you can do your feedback. Of course, you can always, you know, mark on the essay like I'm doing here. All right, so right here you're going to see several things over here on the right. Okay, you can see that this one shows up as late, and it will mark it late for you. It will also take points off if you want it to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is look at my Safe Assign report to see if it's been copied. I can view the original document just by clicking. Now this is tricky if you've never used SafeAssign. I do have uh, a lecture on how it works and all of that, and I can actually take you through that if you'd like. All right, it's going to show up in colors wherever the citation needs to be. And when I click, it's going to tell me there's the student paper, there's the original source, and it will take me out to that if I want to look at it by going over here. I can actually go to that website and look at it. Okay, so. I have it set where they can see this. They can see their safe assign because I want them to know how to fix it. When you look at this, you'll see that it is a direct quote with the quote marks, but what happened is she put the period in the wrong place. It comes after the citation, so it's picking it up as plagiarized. And again, here we have another one picked up as plagiarized. This one looks fine, though. Uh, I don't see anything wrong with that. It's got the wrong citation. NYS Council's wrong citation. Uh, and it's always, nearly always, going to hit on your citations because those have already been built and they're already in the database somewhere. Somebody's probably already used it. Okay, so you just have to look at that safe assign and know what you're doing with that. And like I said, we can do a complete lecture uh, overview on that if we need to. All right, so now to look at the scoring rubric, I just click. Here's my scoring rubric. That's the one I am put in. It's the one the students see. And I just go through and I'm able to click 
And if you'll watch your numbers right here, you'll see as I click, you'll see how that changed scores. You can put feedback here if you like. However, it's easier for the student to see the feedback uh, through this box right here. Okay, so that it shows up in their grade book and it'll have a little bubble there, speech bubble showing that there is feedback. Okay. This has made my life so much easier because I don't have to carry any papers anywhere. I can do this from anywhere. If you have a tablet, like an iPad or a PC tablet or Android tablet, you can actually use your finger or your uh, cursor uh, to draw right on the screen. It's even easier, I think, that way uh, than using the mouse to try to do these things. But all of these, you know, you can print, you can download the text, you can do all these different things. It's very simple, easy system to use. Uh, and I'll be happy to do a one-on-one -on -one if you need it. And that's an overview of the grading system and how it looks on the student and the instructor side. Let me know if you have any questions.